Buenos dias and buenas noches, my beautiful people. And what a surprising video to make. I'm working on my Hell Divers 2 review and I got the news. And the news is, is that Rooster Teeth, after 21 years, is shutting down. Um, it's pretty unreal, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I did grow up watching Red vs. Blue, but of course, I watch Ruby. Ruby was a show that I used to watch all the time until recent events and if you've seen my video about Ruby should have ended then yeah I was one of the assholes that criticized the show and I know a lot of people have a hissy fit about it I've got quite a lot of interesting comments about me and people just assuming what kind of person I am but that's neither here or there because Rooster Teeth is shutting down now Ruby Red vs Blue and of course Genlock which I keep forgetting that show exists are on sale Warner Brothers Discovery are selling those properties and I find it hard to believe that any company might take them I just yeah say it how you want you can cope if you want but those properties are not as big as they used to be and I think people forget that like don't get me wrong once upon a time Ruby was huge it was popular but not as much anymore and currently I I'm not eager to see how the show ends because I feel like they shot themselves in the foot this whole time they were just making bad decisions after bad decisions and even if someone did pick up the Ruby brand which I mean, I can see A24 doing it because Has Been Hotel got picked up by it, but Has Been Hotel is a new IP and just got pretty popular as well. Ruby's been out there for 10 years and its popularity has fell off. Now we got fans in the few hundred thousands and I'm pretty sure the value of the show is not there when it comes to selling the IP to a random company. Who knows? It could be A24, but I don't see it because if Warner Brothers could not find anyone to buy Ruby, then that's that's it. Ruby is dead. A lot of people say Ruby is dead because of the bad decisions Rooster Teeth has made. And I don't blame them. The show, it's, yeah, probably devastating news for Ruby fans. I used to be one. I guess I am still am, but I've been looking forward towards the fan projects that's been releasing the past, what, year or so? We had the Crow one, which I find it pretty solid. I just wish he put a bit more visuals when it comes to artwork into the show. Evermore is great, fantastic. It just gets better every episode. Uh, Dust Queen released their trailer and it looks fucking phenomenal and I can't wait to see the rest of it. And we get fan games as well. So the Ruby fandom, the fandom is what's keeping Ruby alive. And yeah, the fandom is really fucking toxic. You cannot deny that. Even if you criticize the show, apparently you'll be seen as this or that. And I have no intention to piss anyone off. Yeah, I guess the title might be a bit clickbaity, but it's not really a lie if it's actually true, right? Because to the public's eyes, Ruby is dead, and the majority have not heard what Ruby is. A few of my friends didn't know what it was until my video came out when I started talking about it. But yeah, I'm not going to drag this video any longer. I just, it definitely sucks to see this happen to Rooster Teeth. It really does. And to the Ruby community, community i am sorry that this had to happen but please keep moving forward with your fan projects they are phenomenal i can't wait to see more i'm definitely i have been inspired to write my own fan project for ruby whether i don't know if it's going to be a comic book or non-animation because i do not have i do not know people in animations to make one for me so definitely leaning towards these fucking cars making a comic book or animatic, I don't know. Because I can definitely ask for voice actors, but, but that's a discussion for a different time. But yeah, let's see what happens to Ruby. But it's looking very grim. Sorry, but no pun intended, I swear to God. Just keep moving forward, guys. Keep doing your projects. Because we know you pour your heart and soul into those projects. Don't give up. Because now Ruby's at your hands. If no corporation's gonna continue with it, then... So be it. Because even if a different company obtains Ruby, the vision won't be the same. It'll be drastically different like it had happened before. And who knows, they probably won't bring back the voice actresses because they would rather get famous people to voice the characters so that normies can go watch it. It's how it is. It's how business works. And also the animation style will be completely different. So either way, Ruby's just, that's it. The Ruby that you guys know is gone because someone else would have a different vision and I doubt they'll bring back the original writers. Just saying. Anyways, what do you think about the whole Ruby situation? And I guess to my subs, it must be new to you. So check out Ruby if you want. It might not be to your liking, but you know, give it a try. Anyways, I gotta get to work. Sorry, Ruby fans, but I wish you luck for the future. Ciao.